Okay, so I will tell you from this box, this little tiny box, here's what we got. Right there. So there you go. Bag, Carolina Jones uh, drink holder, and the Evo itself. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so continue our, our unboxing here. You can see we've got our Carolina Jones drink holder. This here is the shoulder strap for the bag. I just want to show you down inside the bag. The Evo, where he's right it out, fits on this side, the, the bigger side. And this will hold extra batteries and stuff. It's got a nice little compartment there. Got a little like a drink holder on that side, one on that side. And there's even a place on the back uh, to unzip and have a little extra space. And then here, you can actually put this around the belt, either up or down, so you can carry it lower or higher. Pretty cool. All right, so next here, this is your two spare props that you get. These are the cables for, you know, depending on whatever phone you're using. And then uh, that right there, of course. There's the controller. You can see here are a few little manual things. It's just a little single page. Then you got this quick start guide here. And you got this uh, uh, disclaimer and safety instruction. This is the power brick right here uh, with this cable, of course. And this thing, let me tell you, is heavy. And, of course, last but not least, we have the Evo itself. You can see I haven't undone the props or anything like that. Uh, that that gimbal guard was actually off of the thing when I pulled it out of the box. Uh, I actually had a heck of a time putting that back on, but it finally is on there, and now it's it's really, really on there. It's really, really steady. So it takes a minute. And it's a trick. I'm sure I'll get used to it, but, uh, but hey, that's it. So overall, here you go. That's the overview of everything right there. So uh, we're going to charge the battery and all that, and I'll show you that in the next clip. Okay, to finish this part of up, I've got my controller plugged in. You can see that red power light there. Hopefully it's red and it's going. I think if I do that, yeah, you can see it shows on the screen. It's charging, it's 57%. I've got the battery that it had about two and a half percent, I mean two and a half bars and a four. You know, the two bars you can see are solid. The third one was blinking, you know, when it wasn't plugged in. But now it is, so there's that. And you can see right here is your, your little power brick. And right there I got the USB in, which that goes right into the, the bottom of your uh, controller there. And then of course this is what plugs right into the battery. And if you watch the video from Montel, you'll see all that. And of course just plugs in to that. So that's that. So I'm going to let this stuff charge. I know it'll take a little while. Uh, once this is done, we're going to go out and we're going to uh, do one simple, well maybe two little simple flights just because we're going to test the uh, horizon tilt that's obviously the big problem so i want to test that myself with my own evo now that i have one and let you see that so the next thing you'll see you and i will be at the park now all right hey everybody as you can see right there on the screen this ought to tell you what i've got and what i'm maybe about to do this is the hotel evo you can see i've got it set up i've got the the props all sprawled out i've got the gimbal guard off of the the camera which is down there which is hard to see and then over here i've got my controller with my phone on it and with the phone it's actually pretty balanced it feels like it uh without it it's really heavy uh, it's much heavier than what you might think if you don't have one yet. And the Evo is as well. So here, there's just kind of show you the, the two, two set up there. But anyway, what I'm doing here, this is my first flight. I've never fired this thing up yet. And uh, you can see we got some mountains back there in the background. It's kind of hazy today from some fires and stuff. It's southwest of here down in Durango and areas. But anyhow, this will be my, uh, my first flight with it. And I just want to fly it around a little bit, test the horizon tilt problem, and uh, see just how bad it is. I mean, I know I'm going to have it. I just want to see. I'm going to do some slow, easy maneuvers, and then I'm going to do you know, some fast, hard maneuvers. I'm going to try to uh, record my screen for you so you can see that, and uh, have, a, have another camera rolling so you can at least see this take off and, and land, if nothing else. So we're going to give that a try, and then uh, we'll end it and let you be the judge of, of what happens. So, 
I will see you in just a sec. All right, let's walk out here to the Evo. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the, the controller on first. As that's what you're supposed to do. And then I will turn the... On, just press this for three seconds. And there, that's on. I see all four lights. It says it's connecting. You can see it says it's in Addy mode, fly with caution. There, it says ready to go. Okay, so let me, uh, I'll get screen recording and everything going. And, uh, and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is in GPS mode. So let's start it up. Okay, we're taking off now. And there she is in the air for the very first time. Let's turn her a little bit. Right now I gotta say her horizon looks good. Let's go on up. And I'm sure it'll leave camera view and that'll be okay. I'm trying to test the horizon here. First, you see, I do just some, I'm going to go kind of slow and just do some turns. Go a little bit faster, bring it back towards me. Going a little bit faster. It says I got 21 minutes and 35 seconds of a uh, flight time remaining. It, it is very, very quiet, I gotta tell you. Okay, now you can see we're facing the mountains again. And like I said, I'm just gonna slowly turn it. And I gotta tell you, the horizon looks good. Okay, I want to go ahead and turn the gimbal down. And then we'll just fly out a little bit. And then I'll just easily, as much as I can, being brand new to this, raise it up. Got to say, the horizon looks good. So I'll turn it this way. Okay, now I'm going to turn it a little bit harder. Now I'm going to fly full blast and just kind of turn it. See, those are hard turns. And like I said on this screen, I got to be honest, it looks really good. So I don't know. I'm, a, I'm over a thousand feet out right now, but you know, I'm not trying for distance right now. So I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's hit the return home. Yeah, you gotta hold the, t you gotta hold the go home uh, symbol. And you can see it, it did turn right back towards me. And it is coming back at a really good speed, over 22 miles an hour. So it's trying to get back quick. Now I've still got 19 minutes of, uh, of flight time left. Now you saw where it uh, took off from from this camera. I'm going to see just how close it gets. We're about 400 feet out. And it's 113, about 114 feet up. I hear it, and I see it. Came up and said something, but it's so small I couldn't see it, so I don't know. But she is coming down, and hopefully you'll be getting it in the main camera here shortly.
couple of seconds from now, hopefully. You should be able to hear it. And here she comes. You see her there. She's landing herself. Like I said, I'm not doing anything. Then there's the controller. And there, shut itself off. <clears throat> All right. Let me get this uploaded for you and uh, see what you think about my first little video here. It's quick, it's easy, it's you know, it's no big deal, but just want you to, to see that. And so far, I gotta say, I'm, I'm actually thrilled with that uh, horizon. Now, you know, when I take it back home, look on my computer, it might look a little off or something, I don't know. But out here in the bright, bright sunlight where I, I admit I'm on a small screen, uh, looks pretty good to me. But go ahead. Leave me a little comment down there if you would. Tell me what you think about it. Was it good? Was it bad? Uh, I've got a bunch of other tests I'm going to be doing. I'm going to start recording tomorrow morning. I'll be doing at least... I'm going to, Well, I'm going to... I'm attempting to going to do at least two videos a day uh, since I'll have a whole day now, you know, starting tomorrow. And get this thing out to you. All right? So take care. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But leave me a comment and just tell me why because I really want to know. And, uh, you know, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye now.